I, uh, I wanted to make another video for, for you today and I wanted to encourage you, uh, encourage you in the truth of his word. And I wanted to just encourage you uh, despite, uh, despite any circumstances that you're going through right now in your life. Brothers and sisters, we serve a good God and a God who is able. Amen. And part of part of the uh, part of the blessings that come from serving this God is being able to have uh, instructions for life. Uh, you know, if you've ever built anything, uh, if you've ever been to IKEA, right? If you were to try and assemble anything that you have ever bought from IKEA and you didn't have the instructions, it'd be a very challenging experience. I've put stuff together. Uh, in the, I've put stuff, actually this shelf behind me, you know, putting this together, it, it's just a box with, with holes in it. I know it sounds simple, uh, but it, it was challenging with the instructions. Uh, I, I could not imagine putting together this shelf or anything without instructions. So, you know, I say all that just to say, you know, that the scriptures actually tell us, you know, what great people that we are, the people of God. Uh, that have such a, an awesome book of instructions to follow after. I think it's in the book of Deuteronomy. It, you know, we have awesome instructions and they're not too difficult to follow after. Uh, you know, my commandments are not burden, burdensome, right? Uh, so what, what, what a blessing to to have these body of of laws or instructions to, to follow after and not just that we have those so that we know right from wrong or how to live our lives but the scriptures god's word yeshua actually promises blessings blessings if we do what he says and, and that's really kind of what uh, what excites me and what i really wanted to to share with you guys today um, as I was reading through through the Proverbs today, uh, Proverbs 19, it's the 19th, and uh, my family for a while now, actually my sister first told me, you know, hey, there's 31 books in Proverbs, and if you read one a day, uh, it'll take you through the book of Proverbs in most months, give or take, if there's 30 days or happens to be, you know, if it's a leap year, there'll be 28 uh, in February, whatnot. Uh, but, you know, I was reading Proverbs 19, and I came across this this scripture, Proverbs 19, verses 16. Uh, and, and I think it's the, the New Living Translation. I have a few different translations open at the time, but the New Living Translation actually puts it uh, quite simply and quite clearly. Uh, if you keep the commandments, you will keep your life. If you despise the commandments, you will, you will die. Keep the commandments and live don't keep the commandments and die. Now that's that's GIV right there, but how much more simpler can we get? The commandments are good, and unfortunately, we 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 live in a you know in a Christian society. Unfortunately, uh, modern day Christianity teaches that some of the commandments are actually done away with, or uh, Yeshua came and or Jesus came and said that we don't have to do certain ones because he is fulfilled them uh, even though jesus says like i think not that i've come to like destroy anything until heaven and earth pass away the law is still it's still legit it's still it's still here uh and heaven and earth are still here look outside <laughs> right uh but the commandments are good and they bring life and here i am you know i'm going through some some eye issues and some health issues been a diabetic for for over 20 years now and i want to do everything i can to find life to find life and life more abundantly i want to live life to the fullest and i'm going after his blessings i'm going after healing and when i come across a scripture that says hey if you just do what god says if you just follow the Father's instructions for your life, if you just pick up his instruction manual, right, the Word of God, and just try to do Bible things in Bible ways, then you will find life. You will be blessed. And that that is not just something to be found in Proverbs 19. This is a promise that is echoed throughout the entirety of Scripture. And I read this and I was just so 
encouraged that you know okay yeah keeping commandments i can i i can do that and not to gain right standing with god and not not uh unto salvation but just because i want to i want to love the father that's it right and what is what is love of the father right if we keep his commandments right uh that's what yeshua said if you love me you will keep my commandments and you know I was just really encouraged by 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 hearing these words today that you know hey the commandments bring life and I want to I want to go and I want to do that I want to find out okay the commandments okay which ones can I keep you know how can I keep them how can I how can I just how can I do everything within my power to obey the father and to just love the father how he's asked to be loved and I was super encouraged uh you know but at the same time I know that there's many 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 people out there going to church uh, you know, call, uh, claiming Christianity, claiming to be a follower of Yeshua, and yet not doing what Yeshua asked them to do. You know, all these contradictions that we're seeing. I mean, I don't have to nitpick pick all the different issues in the body right now. There are so many. We know that. But let's try and fix it, right? And, and, and in fixing the problems that we see in the world today and in our churches, in our com Christian communities... It can only be fixed if we humble ourselves, if we repent, if we turn back to the Father and His ways of doing life, His ways of living life loud. If we repent, if we turn back, we'll find life. It's as simple as that. I hope that encourages you. I hope that you uh, take the commandments seriously. I hope that you understand that the commandments are a blessing, that the commandments are there to give us life. And when we follow after our Messiah, when we follow the leader as he's asked us to follow, right, as the living word of God walking in the flesh, when we follow after Yeshua the Messiah with our heart, soul, mind, and strength, we will find life. And I pray you find life too.